Welcome to the coding interview question. K disappears in an array. You're given an array of integers nums and an integer k. Return the number of unique k diff pairs in the array. A k diff pair is an integer pair nums i nums z, where the following are true. We have total four condition. Zero less than equals to i, z less than nums dot length. Here we have boundary for i and z. i not equals to z, nums i less than equals to nums z, and nums z minus nums i equals to k. We have four condition. Okay. This is the problem statement. For example, if you're given r equals to this array and k equals to 2, then we have two pairs 1, 3, and 3, 5 that follow our four conditions that we have seen in the problem statement. For 1, 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. So we see 3 minus 2 equals to k, 5 minus 3 equals to k. So for this input, we have to return 2. Because we have two deep pairs in this array. If you are given this array and k equals to 1, then we have to return 4. Because in this array we have four deep pairs. We have four deep pairs in the array 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5. So we have to return 4 for this input. If you are given this array and k equals to 0, then you have to return 1. Because we have 1 deep pairs in this array, and that is 1, 1. If you are given this array and k equals to 2, then we have to return 1. Because in this array, we have 1 deep pairs, that is minus 3, minus 1. Okay? Now, how we can solve this problem? For sake of understanding, let's assume we're given this array as input and k equals to 2. First, what we're going to do is that we're going to construct a hash map. This is our hash map where k equals to the element itself and the value equals to appearance. 3 appears in this array once. So we have value 1. 1 appears twice in this array. We have value 2. Then 4 appears once and 5 appears once. Okay, so we have constructed our hash map. First, we'll initialize a variable count to 0. Then we're going to run a loop for item in hash map. Here item means the key value pair. Okay, for first iteration, our item is this key value pair 3 and 1. Then we're going to check if k equals to 0. Then we will check if we have value equals to or greater than 2. Then we will increase count by 1. Because if we have k equals to 0, then we have to find out two same element. When you have k equals to 0, then we will have a diff here only and only if we have a value in the hash table greater than or equals to 2. Because for k equals to 0, we have to find out the same element in the given array. If not, then the current key plus k exists in hash map. So for first iteration, current key is 3. 3 and k, k equals to 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Does 5 exist in the hash map? We see it exists in hash map. Then we'll increase count by 1. For first iteration, we will have count equals to 1. Then for next iteration, we have this key value here. This condition false because we have k equals to 2. Now let's check. If item dot key plus k, 1 plus 2, 3, does 3 exist in the hash map? Yes, 3 exists. So let's increase count by 1. So count became 2. Then for next iteration, we have this key value here, 4 and 1. So 4 plus 2 equals to 6. And we see 6 
does not exist in the highest table. So in this case, we will not increase count. Then for next iteration, we have this key value here, 5 and 1. 5 plus 2 equals to 7. Does 7 exist in the hash map? No. So we will not increase count. At the end, we get count equals to 2. And this is our answer. And this is how we can solve this problem. For a better understanding, go through with your own examples. First, construct a hash map from array and then use this algorithm to find out the k diff pairs in the array. This solution will take big of n time complexity where n is the length of the given array. It also takes big of n space complexity to construct the hash map. Hope you have understood this problem. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, let us know. Thanks for watching this video.